After Times Now put out the report on the Karnataka Chief Minister's role in illegal mining, pressure is mounting on BS Yadirapa. The Congress was vociferous in its demand for the Chief Minister's immediate resignation. Now, with the Karnataka Lok Ayukt's report, which indicts the Chief Minister as well as four other BJP ministers and pegs the loss to the Exchequer at a whopping 1800 crore rupees, this time it's the BJP that's in, on the back foot on the issue of corruption. Times now spoke to BJP President Nitin Gatkari in London on whether the party would act against Yadurapa and the Reddy brothers. Mr. Hegde's new report on illegal mining is to be officially presented to the state government soon. States that close to 1800 crores have been lost in the last 14 months, mainly through illegal exports of iron ore. Will you brush this aside as well? First of all, I don't know. I only received the information from the media. First of all, I will go to India and I will get information and find out what is exactly in the report, uh, what is exactly in the report, and then it is possible for me to give reaction on it. Now, the man at the helm of the issue, Justice Santosh Hegre, spoke exclusively to Times Now and spared no one, including the Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yadurapa. Justice Hegre claimed that there was enough evidence against Yadurapa and his ministers in the illegal mining scam. And he hoped, of course, that at least this time his report would see some action. Justice Hegre, strong report you've given out. You've taken on everyone, but the principal question is, will your report be taken seriously because it, they can dismiss it? You see, they can say it's recommendatory, uh, only recommendatory, and they can dismiss your report substantially. That's correct. They can do that. But yes. then uh, 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 they did this almost uh, same thing in the first report. They didn't uh, uh, implement it. Uh, but the Supreme Court has taken up the matter so motto, and they are now going ahead with the inquiry. No, so you are saying they'll be forced to act on your report? Correct. That's my view in the matter. And if they don't act, the matter is pending in the uh, Supreme Court. Supreme Court has already warned yes, the has. mining uh, group in Bellari that if you don't uh, behave properly, we'll close completely the mining activities in the district of Bellari. Santosh Hegde, I want to know from you directly tonight whether you've received any threats. You've spoken of pressure. People have come to your house and told you not to name the chief minister. What's the kind of threat you've received? Well, uh, that was an incident uh, where I've already mentioned uh, the factum they, they, they came to my house is admitted, but the um, discussion they are disputing, they said they came to discuss a, uh, a case against yes. uh, Dhananjay Kumar, which is pending before the Lokayakta. People don't come to the house of the Lokayakta or the judges to discuss their case. People come to the office and discuss the case. And you don't bring other friends along to discuss the case. No, the BJP leader Dhananjay Kumar, who we are talking about, came on Newsa yesterday and he told me a completely different story. Uh, yeah, the story is that he had a uh, there's a complaint against him in the Lokayakta and he wanted to explain his version. But as I told you, Arnab, uh, clients don't go to the house of judges. No, I get your point on that. I get your point completely and very clearly on that. So there's a clear attempt to intimidate you. So what do you make of the response of the BJP on, on the fact that the report was leaked? They want to know how it was leaked. They're talking more about how the report was leaked on Times Now more than its content. But how does it affect the veracity of the investigation? The con conclusions are supported by evidence, documentary evidence.